I like to do it that way because it's, I like to do it both ways. And then you see it from both ways. Now, and that looks a lot different when you're down there in it, don't it? True. You True. see, you're up here looking down at it, it don't look too much, but when you get in there, that's something else. It looks pretty wild. I know there was times that we were out of the water, coming down, we jumped clear out at this 20-foot boat. And that, uh, that's a big thrill. When I first started, uh, we lived right on the river bank. I was raised there, Grants Pass. And I was out on the bridge one day with a kid who wondered what to do with himself, and an Indian came out. <laughs> he said, let's build a boat and go down road to shore. Well, that started it. That was the very beginning. So we built a boat with a crude thing, but we went down road river. And through this canyon, there was lots of fish, there was lots of game, and it was very attractive. I made up my mind then, I'll sell this to the public. And that's, I started out without it in mind and made a lifetime of guiding. But one of the big um, things in your life though, Glenn, is that you like to do things first, things that people say yeah, are impossible. Yeah, I always do it first. Did anyone tell you it was impossible to do what you did today on oh, the Fraser? Oh yeah, yeah. I never, nobody ever told me I could do it. And you just went out and did it? I just went ahead and done it. What other rivers have you done? Well, the snake, the salmon, and the rogue, and the Klamath, and about all that's really of any consequence in our part of the country. How does this Fraser compare to some of the other rivers you've done? This has got a couple of pretty tough spots. There's two good rapids below us here, you know. Pretty good ones. But this is a little bit tougher. What's the feeling you get, Glenn, when you're doing this kind oh, of thing? Oh, just a big thrill. I get a big kick out of it. A conquering this thing, beating it, where everybody says you can't do it. And that's of every place that I go pretty nearly, that's the the attitude of the people, you can't do it. Well, who knows? And you just go right out there well, and Well, I don't pay no attention to the public or telling you that you, you can't do this. I just think, well, how do you know? Well, I call myself a river rat. Do you ever worry about the danger of what you're doing? Oh, it isn't dangerous. It isn't as dangerous as a highway in your automobile. No. No, I don't. You can run up and down through this Hell's Gate for 50 times a day, and I don't think you're taking the chance as you are on the highway. Have you ever lost a passenger? No, I had a couple of drunks fall out. <laughs> you... you... <laughs> It's time to hang off the boat and you drag you to shore. <clears throat> That's a new. No, we never lost a passenger. We never lost a boat. I don't know. What attracts a man who wants to climb a mountain? Well, the same thing, I guess. I don't have any desire to climb on those peaks. But the water, the water attracts me. There's something going on down here. There's a lot of action there. There's a lot of things taking place. And of course, you have to learn to read the water. That is the thing that you have to learn to do by looking at the surface and telling what's underneath in running water. As if every break or every wake, something causes it. But well, you have to learn after a while what causes that. Maybe it's a boulder right close to the surface. But that makes a different kind of a wake than one that's down deeper. Mm. So you can look at it, tell whether you can run over it or not, just by at a, quite a distance. There's a considerable action there. What's the most dangerous river you've ever run? Oh, I don't consider them any of them too dangerous, really. And this is about as tough a spot as I found. Oh, no, I've got to cross the river. I don't know. You're not going to give up now? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, when I give up, I'm going to be under the sod. But 
Hell with that. That's my phone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.